The Nigerian social media space has been completely divided after Kubana chief priest was arrested by the EFCC and charged to court for abuse of Naira, only to be released hours later on bail. Earlier, Bobriski was arrested and charged to court on the same allegations. Sadly, in the case of the celebrity cross-dresser, he was denied bail and later sentenced to six months imprisonment without any option of a fine. Now, this has caused a massive uproar online. Many people called out the anti-graft agency and the justice system for treating Bob and the celebrity barman with so much partiality. They are claiming that Bob Risky was targeted on purpose because of his online identity and perceived alliance with the LGBTQ community. According to them, the arrest of the foremost Nigerian male Babi and his sentence to jail didn't happen by chance but because some people at the top worked hard to see him put behind bars. In Nigeria, many people have a love-hate relationship with the self-styled mommy of Lagos, but his hilarious social media content has been a major source of entertainment, so much so that even his haters and fans view his recent misfortune as a personal attack. In Animal Farm, Famous English novelist George Orwell wrote, All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Could this be the case here? Or is Bob Risky just being persecuted over his online identity and perceived sexuality? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Hey guys, how are you? I'm having um, guinea fowl with Gary. You guys know I'm from Ogun State, Ijebubo. Controversial cross-dressing figure Bob Brisky has been the recipient of several threats over the years for obvious reasons, of course. Nigeria, although the self-styled mummy of Lagos is still very much a conservative nation and cross-dressing happens to be one of the many cardinal sins, even worse is being associated with the LGBTQ community and easily we bet you can tell who has flaunted all these rules. Now and then, while the mummy of Lagos is doing his own thing, you know, dancing, showing up in public in style, addressing his teeming female fans and even winning Best Dressed Female Awards, some people will gather to remind him that one day, the government will come for him. Well, to many people, that promised day was April 4, 2024, after the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission arrested him for abusing the Naira. But at the time, many people thought he would get off with only a slap on the wrist. After all, someone else is walking free after being charged with the same crime. A Nigerian actress, popularly known as Simi Gold, was charged with Naira abuse. Still, after she pleaded leniency as a first-time offender and mother, the court sentenced her to six months in prison with an option to pay a fine of 300,000 Naira, which she happily paid. So. Many people thought Bob Brisky would be given the same treatment. Unfortunately, the mummy of Lagos is currently languishing in a prison cell. The judge sentenced Bob Brisky to six months in jail without the option of a fine, even though he pleaded with the courts to temper justice with mercy as an ignorant first-time offender. The judge insisted on using Bob as a scapegoat even after he begged that in the future, he would use his social media platforms to educate his over 5 million followers against abusing the Nigerian currency. As of the time of scripting, reports have it that the mummy of Lagos has been transferred from the Ikoyi prison to Kirikiri Maximum Prison to serve his unexpected jail term. <laughs> Unlike Bob Risky, Instagram celebrity barman Kubana Chief Priest was also charged in court for abuse of Naira on the same day Bob Risky was charged. The anti-graft agency alleged that he spread the Naira notes of 500 Naira denomination during a social event on February 13, 2024 at Eco Hotel. Surprisingly, the nightlife entrepreneur, whose real name is Pasca Okechukwu, was not arrested like the Snapchat queen. A mugshot of him in EFCC detention does not even exist or surface on social media. All he had to do was show up in court on April 15, 2024, where he of course arrived in style with many fans and celebrity followers. friends like Davido and the rest of the 30 BG gang. Again, unlike Bob Risky, the socialite was granted bail of 10 million naira with two shorties in like sum. This selective treatment has many people speculating that Bob Risky was always the target and others like Kubana Chief Priest were just caught in the fire. 
They believe the powers that be are after the mummy of Lagos over his online lifestyle as a cross-dresser. Rather than arrest him outright on related charges, they instead used the abuse of Naira charges to teach him a lesson. They claim that is why Bobriski was arrested, denied bail, and sentenced eventually to jail without an option of fine, all with the speed of light. However, other people need to buy the narrative. They believe that the outcome of Bobriski and Kubana chief priest case is a difference in the lawyers that hired to represent them in court. In their opinion, the celebrity barman hired a top lawyer who advised him to plead non-guilty, unlike Bob Brisky, who wasted no time pleading guilty to the charges. Not only that, Kubana chief priest is reportedly unbelievably liquid, another way of saying that he is rich. Word on the streets has it that the celebrity barman is one of the many billionaires in Nigeria and well connected to the 1% of the 1% in society. As such, when he was granted bail, the nightlife entrepreneur immediately met all the conditions and was allowed to go until his next court appearance. But Bob Brisky couldn't. Contrary to speculations that the cross-dresser was denied bail, he wasn't. The mummy of Lagos was granted administrative bail but couldn't meet the conditions. Regardless of the facts, some continue to insist that Bob was targeted and prosecuted over his chosen lifestyle. This heightened after the Nigerian Correctional Services told the media that Bob Brisky's genitals are still intact and he is serving his jail term in the male ward. Reacting on X, promising young actor and model Denola Gray said Bob Brisky was being made a scapegoat. In a post on social media, he wrote, We all know this is not about spraying money. They are scapegoating him and using this as a reason. Unfortunately, this country is full of them. Lawyer and activist Deji Adeyonju also noted that Bobriski should have been given a lighter sentence as a first-time offender for a crime many Nigerians are guilty of. An ex-user wrote, He is getting convicted because this is a country where his immorality will not be tolerated and it would be used as an example for others like him to learn from. It was never about spraying money. One wrote, I don't like Bob Risky, but I feel the law is not being fair to him. He was accused of the same charges and sentenced to jail for six months without the option of bail. But here is another person with the same crime being granted bail. The law can't be different to different people. Free Bob! Another wrote, with Kubana chief priest pleading not guilty as anticipated, the EFCC's task of proving his misuse of genuine CBN currency becomes more challenging. In contrast, Bob swiftly admitted guilt and faced conviction on similar charges. Technicalities matter in court. One added, Guys, relax! Prison in Nigeria is for the poor and less connected. One or two SANs will do the job for chief priests, not like charge and bail lawyer that Bob hired and was threatened to plead guilty. Meanwhile, the EFCC claims it is not over yet because the battle line has only been drawn. The anti-graft agency is probing several celebrities over alleged abuse of Naira Note. Many of them have made useful statements to the commission, and many more have been invited by investigators working on the matter. The EFCC will not relent in its no sacred cow mode of operations and the public should be wary of running afoul of laws against the crime. The agency wrote, In response, many celebrities have been begging for mercy before they end up in Kirikiri. Many Nigerians also believe this move will kill the new note trading sector. Hate it or love it, this new note trading industry is about to die. They are part of the economic problem. An ex-user wrote, Kubana chief priest has also counseled Nigerians against evading the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, emphasizing that the agency's operatives do not mistreat suspects but are forced solely on investigation and prosecution. The eagle will always fly so high to catch you wherever you hide. No need to run when official EFCC invites you. Pull up and answer them. They don't bite. They don't beat. They only investigate and prosecute. For their cell, toilet and bathroom day, even breakfast, lunch and dinner is served. So tell me why you are running," he shared on Instagram. Meanwhile, Kubana chief priest has also not discharged and acquitted just yet. 
the Bologna businessman is still on trial, leaving room for the justice system to prove if Bobriski was persecuted or if it was just trying to maintain law and order. In the heat of the matter, Bobriski allegedly donated hundreds of chairs to the correctional center. There is no official statement yet to confirm or deny the report and neither has the correctional center, but online, people are reacting over Bobriski's generous gifts. Dr. Penking wrote, Bobriski reverted back to manhood in prison and became kind. He donated chairs to Kirikiri prison. The female version of Bobriski would never do this. She'll be fighting very dark man and James Brown by now. Let's keep this man a man, please. Tell us guys, would you say Bobriski and Kubana chief priest received preferential treatment in the justice system? Was Bobriski targeted to serve as an example to other cross-dressers in Nigeria? Or was this due to the lawyers they hired or their wealth and connections? Finally, do you believe the justice system is trying to maintain law and order or persecuting people for displaying certain lifestyles online? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.